One more. Example 3. Is the following a function? And what is its domain and range? First, is it a function? What do you think? Well, we can do the vertical line test, of course. And we have no double hits. So this is a function. In this case, the function terminates on both ends. Remember that we assume that a relationship carries on forever beyond the edges of our graph unless we've been clearly shown termination points on an end, or in this case, on both ends. Termination points can be solid or filled in like this one, or they can be hollow like this one. So what's the difference? Well, a solid termination point indicates that the point itself is included as part of the relationship. It's therefore called an inclusive termination point. It includes the point itself. In this relationship, the point negative 3, 2 is included as part of the relationship. A hollow termination point, on the other hand, indicates that the point itself is excluded from the relationship. It's therefore called an exclusive termination point. That is, in this relationship, the point 2, comma, negative 3 is excluded. That is, it's not part of the relationship. The graph comes up to this point, which indicates that everything leading up to this point is included. But the point itself is not. For example, x equals 1 is included right here. x equals 1.5 is also included. And even x equals 1.99 is included. It's just the x equals 2 itself that is excluded. So how would we define our domain and range for this type of relationship? Let's take a look. Well, again, the domain is the allowable x values, and we can see that the x values start at x equals negative 3. And they include x equals negative 3, as it's an inclusive point. So the allowable x values are equal or greater than negative 3. But they stop at x equals plus 2. Well, in fact, they stop just before x equals 2. So we would say that the allowable x values are less than 2. Not equal or less than, but simply less than. It's exclusive. So we use the symbol less than to show this. And we have our domain. For the range, the allowable y values will start at the lowest point here y equals negative 7. Now our curve touches y equals negative 7, so we say that the y values are equal to or greater than negative 7. And our largest y value is up here. It's our inclusive termination point at y equals 2. So our upper limit of the range would be equal or less than 2. So to answer the original question, we have to answer it in three parts. Yes, it is a function. The domain is between negative 3 and 2, with negative 3 being an inclusive point and 2 being an exclusive point. So we would show that as x is equal or greater than negative 3, but less than 2. And the range is between negative 7 and 2, with them both being inclusive points. So, we would say that y is equal or greater than negative 7, and equal or less than 2.